How are you doing? Welcome back to another video. Today's agenda, I've got a bit of a strange video for you. It's in a vlog style, but it's more of a video. Does that make sense? It's a video, not a vlog, but in a vlog style. Anyway, I'm confusing you already. Sorry. So for today, I was talking to Poppy and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna pick three recipes from your blog and I'm gonna put it out on Instagram, which I did. I did a little poll. It was this one, which is the cinnamon rolls or this one, which was the brownies, or this one, which is kind of like a homemade hobnob style cookie biscuit thing covered in chocolate. And then I asked everyone, what recipe do you want to see me try? And the outcome was, it was a bit mixed, but primarily the winner was the cinnamon bun recipe. So today in this video, I'm going to basically check through my cupboards to see if I need to get anything. Let's be honest, I probably need to get a lot of things, but I'm going to be making the cinnamon bun recipe from Poppy's block. She said that it was one of, if not the most successful uh, recipes that she's made in terms of, I think, actual like edibleness. <laughs> But also, I'm sure people loved it. That's the plan. That's what's happening. Let's just get it. Just like that. I'm in Sainsbury's. I've got my list up. What are we saying? Plain flour. Yes, please. Already got my butter in there. Vanilla extract. Nearly done. Sorted. Found it. Right. Let's go back home. Ready to bake. Right, okay, so all the ingredients have measured out. Plain flour, hard butter, whatever it is, not butter, flour? I don't know, things are measured, that's a good thing. Eggs, pan, butter, three different measurements of butter, I know. One for the dough, one for the filling, and one for the topping. We're all good, we're all set up, we're ready to go. Now I just need to go through the instructions and start baking. I think this is probably quite a good point to start a time lapse. What do you think? Let's get it, and then I'll stop halfway through. I have read the instructions. I do need to make the dough, and the dough needs to rise, because I'm using yeast, and it takes one to two hours, and it's meant to double in size. So I will stop <laughs> when I start doing the dough and making it rise and see, see what happens, yes? Cool, time lapse, let's go. says it should be like. I now have to knead it. Whoa, that's super sticky. I can't even get it out of here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The funny thing is, Poppy just called me. She's actually in town. She was meeting a friend for coffee. And she rang me and she was like, I cannot tell you how excited I am that the fact that you're making these buns today. That's from Poppy herself saying that she's so pumped about this recipe. What's knead? Need? Is this kneading? <laughs> is this how I knead? I will check back with you after this guy is chilled. Risen. After it's risen. Not chilled. I don't have to chill it. Leave it in a warm place. Definitely not a cold place. Leave it in a warm place and let it rise for an hour to two hours. Don't put it in the fridge. So my time has just gone off. Let's have a little look at this dough, shall we? Definitely got bigger. Definitely got bigger. Right, there's a little bit of oil on this, so I'm just gonna dab it onto the tray. Aim is to spread this evenly and make it as thin as possible, is what she said. <laughs> this is so makeshift. I don't know why I'm doing it on the bottom of a baking tin. It just made sense because it was a rectangle shape, and Poppy said, make it a rectangle. <laughs> right, apparently, this is meant to make 12, up to 12 buns. Here is something I made earlier. The filling, the cinnamon and butter and sugar filling. Get some of this and put it on here and get some more and put it on here maybe and get some more and put it on here. So I just turned the oven on, preheated to 200 degrees. Now I just need to roll 
this apparently. What's happening with those sides? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't look great. The best thing. <laughs> Preheating, I just need to make the final thing, which is the topping. The butter's well and truly softened now, so that's good. Wait, what am I doing? I was gonna put it in here. Yoink. I'll add this soft. Oh, don't wanna break this bowl. This is one of my fave bowls. I'll add the soft cheese, like so. Jesus, don't stick that in there, whatever you do. And then I will put the rest of the icing sugar in. It's becoming a bit smoky. <coughs> it's becoming very smoky. It's causing absolute bloody mayhem. And bake for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden on top. Boom, 200 Celsius. Hey Siri, set a time. Are you okay, mate? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri! Is that a time of 40? Ah! Time has just gone off. Moment of truth. They are definitely golden brown on top. There is some bubbling action going on. Okay, get up in there with some cinnamon bun action. Topping on whilst it's hot. So let's do that. What do we think? There's poppies. Should be doing this once I put the topping on. There's poppies. And there's mine. I'm gonna try this actually. Oh my god. That is freaking epic. This is definitely like a, tr a tear and share style um, recipe. Get in, get messy. Tear and share vibe. Come on then, because I'm putting it on whilst they're hot. It's melting it and making it run easier into like all the little cracks. That is so tasty. They look freaking good. I feel like I need to let them cool down a little bit before I try it because that will burn my mouth. Moment of truth. What? Does it taste like? That's what it looks like out of this little space. <laughs> the first bite. Mm. Mm. It's literally like all coming apart because obviously it separates because I twisted it or rolled it up. I'm not just saying it because I made it. I mean, I made it from Poppy's recipe. So well done, Poppy. That is very good. Very, very good. All made from fresh ingredients as well. Rather than buying like, can you buy dough like that? Would you buy like puff pastry or something? But I made it fresh with the KitchenAid. I'm gonna make a cup of tea and enjoy this with it. I hope you've enjoyed this rather spontaneous baking video. I never really make videos like this, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Also, the two recipes that I didn't make, obviously, that I put on my Insta Story poll, let me know in the comments if you want to see me bake or make anything. I do love baking. Yeah, hit me up in the comments. Give me some suggestions. Let me know if you like this type of video, and I'll definitely be doing some more because they're just fun. They're just fun little videos. On that note, I'll be seeing you real soon in another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.